Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLE 7 which is all about Kitchen, Math, English, and Metric System. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 12. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to identify the units of measurement for food materials and distinguish the various food material using techniques. The second one is to execute basic calculation and conversion of food materials using the English and metric system. And for the third one is to value the significance of measuring food materials appropriately by answering the reflection log. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will identify each picture based on our previous lesson. The English system of kitchen measurement, also known as imperial system, is a set of units used for measuring ingredients in cooking and baking. While many countries, including United Kingdom, have transitioned to metric system, the imperial system is still used in some places, especially in traditional recipes and the United States. The following are some of the common units in English systems of kitchen measurement. For the volume, they use teaspoon, tablespoon, fluid ounce, cup, pint, quart, and gallon. And for the weight and dry measure, they use ounce and pound. The metric system, also known as International System of Units or the SI, is a decimal-based system of measurement used globally in most countries. It provides the straightforward and consistent way to measure quantities. In the metric system, there are base units for different types of measurements, and multiples of sub-multiples of these units are used for larger or smaller quantities. The following are some common unit in the metric system, particularly those relevant to kitchen measurement. For the volume in metric system, they are going to use milliliter and liter. And for the weight, they are going to use gram and kilogram. And for the length, they are going to use milliliter, centimeter, and meter. 
In the metric system, conversions between units are based on powers of 10, which makes calculations and conversions relatively easy. For example, there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter and 1,000 grams in a kilogram. When using the metric system in the kitchen, ingredients are typically measured in grams or milliliters. For example, a recipe might call for 250 grams of flour or 500 milliliters of water. The metric system is widely used in the culinary world because of its precision and simplicity in scaling recipes. It's important to note that the conversion factors between units are not always straightforward. Example, fluid ounces to ounces in weight. So using the correct unit for the measured ingredient is essential. Additionally, when following recipes, it's advisable to use the system of measurement specified in the recipe to ensure the accuracy. Thank you.